Hey, everybody. Maddie here with Backwoods Mindset. So today I got a lot of stuff going on. I'm doing a lot of work around the house. The kids did a lot of work today um, earlier in the morning. Right now we're on our way to go get Darcy some shoes. As you can see by the name of the title of the video, I got an award in the mail. So I'm going to show you guys that. I was really excited about it. Um, I've never gotten this one before, so that was super cool. But like I said, Darcy and I, we're going right now. We're going to go get her some new shoes. Then we're going to head back to the house. Um, got a couple projects that I got to take care of today. Um, and you guys are going to be following me along and seeing what I do with the project. So we'll be back here shortly. Okay, so I we got Darcy her shoes. She picked out some new shoes. Amanda needed some socks, so we got Amanda some socks while we were out. Now I'm back here, and we're going to be working on prepping the tackle bags. And I'm going to be talking to you guys while I'm prepping them, um, getting this stuff ready. I got the new tackle box that uh, Marianne Bimler uh, sent to me, and that's going to be specifically for me catching bait. So I'm going to be switching some stuff up this year. This will give me some more room. I'll be have extra room in my catfishing bag so I don't have to have all that extra on me when I go. Because I usually do my bait fishing before. I'm never bait fishing while I'm catfishing. So now I can have it separated and I don't have to lug a bunch of stuff around that I don't need. So I think I might even use this. I might turn it into like a little like bass and bait fish bag. So... Um, I'm going to be working on that today. I'm going to be showing you guys that. Um, I'm going to be talking about the award I got, which I'm super excited about. Can't wait to show you guys that. But we'll get into that a little bit later. I'm going to get working on these bags, and we'll be back here in a minute. Okay, so I have this cardboard box over here. And what I'm going to do is, if there's any garbage that's in my main tackle box, I'm going to take it out. I was trying to show you guys what I got here, too. Those are all glow sticks. I got fish grippers. Got my backwards mindset. Koozie. I got some charging cords here that I don't need in there. Got an empty knife thing, so I don't, who knows where that went. And some extra wine. Man, I got a mess. I apparently didn't do anything. Garbage. It's garbage. This is nail clippers. Some bells. Electrical tape. Sometimes we use the electrical tape if we're not using the bells to get those um, around the um, around the ends of the tips of the rod so that we can see them uh, while they're while they're going. Got some scissors, some more bells. We got a bunch of weights up here, I think. So what I'm doing while I'm doing this is I'm actually going to be making a list of equipment that I'm going to need. There's a hook in there while I'm uh, for fishing for this year. So we got a handful of weights there, which I must have just, at the end of the season there, I must have just been throwing it back in. I have a little pocket knife. something man that's it i got a mess here that's for sure so get this stuff out we got up here got a pouch for a knife i left this a wreck got some matches i don't know i'm throwing out some stuff that i think was possibly no good anymore. Employers, fish counter. Some bent up hooks, a receipt. Some screws. Man, I got a little first aid kit. Charger, these ones, 
some uh, syringes for my diabetes. I got some hooks here. I just bought some new hooks too. So I got those. Um, I don't know where I put them though. They're around here somewhere. I'll find them. Got some more bells. They found upstairs. I like these lights a lot. I get them at Harbor Freight. Um, you can see I got them at different times because they got different elements in them. But I got them both at Harbor Freight. You know, they were like a buck a piece. But it really lights up the area if you need them. And they're kind of small and compact. So you have that going on too. Let's see here. Now it's time to the boxes out. So I got three boxes in here. Some of them have hooks, some of them have weights, some of them have extra tackle. Um, nothing in that pocket. I mean, I got, oh, I got all sorts of stuff in here, apparently, I didn't know about. Uh, this look, all looks like, well, there's some catfishing stuff and there's some crappie stuff in there. So stuff I never used last year. Let's see. I think this. Oh, here they are. We're underneath that bag. Okay, so this is mine. I'm not going to do these other bags over here. This is Aiden, uh, Darcy, and Amanda's bags. So we're not going to mess with those right now. We're just going to concentrate on mine for today. Um, I know there's a lot of like loose dirt. And knock that stuff out. I think that's I think that's everything. Yep. So we're all good there. So we got this sucker all empty. Now we got it's over here. Now I have to get all this organized. We're gonna get stuff put in these boxes. We're gonna figure out what's gonna go in the bait box um to catch bait and we're gonna get going. But it looks like I lost my fillet knife. I don't see it anywhere, which makes me really upset. Um, it wasn't in my bag. It should have been in there. So I'm guessing that it got left somewhere uh, when we were fishing. Huge mistake. You don't want to do that. These aren't cheap. You don't want to lose these. So, But I'm down a fillet knife right now, which I will have to get replaced. But we'll do that when the time comes. So not going to worry about that right now. But I'm going to add it to the list. Since that's what I, uh, since that's what I lost, but we're gonna work, start getting this stuff back together. Hopefully, I can get this bag, my main bag for catfishing, kind of broke down a little bit, and um, and we can get ready for this year because I'm getting excited about about catfishing this year. And I'm gonna show you here in one minute. Now you guys get to see the award, the award that I want. So we'll be back here. In Okay, so like I said, um, I got an award in the mail. Super excited about it. I've been wanting to get this one for for years. Okay, and I've I've never done it. This year I did it on accident. So um, every year, if you catch a certain size fish, you get a pin from the state. So you can see the ones that I have here on this one. Um, I'm not sure if you can actually see if the glare is too much on that, but anyways bunch of pins on here. I get them every year. So this year, we got it right here. I'm going to open it. Um, uh, well, I already did open it, but let's see. It's from the state of Ohio here. And it's from the um, ODNR, uh, the Ohio Division uh, Natural Resources, the Division of Wildlife. And it's got another bag inside. And I haven't even opened this up yet but i was really really excited about it i wanted to show you guys you guys are the first ones to see it and i get to add a new pin to my collection and this is a real special one for me this is oh the master angler pin so i actually caught uh four fish this year that were um of a specific size so they were all all different sizes. Um, give me one second here. I'm actually gonna gonna let you guys know what the sizes were. I can't remember off the top of my head. There were a couple of them, and this was all pretty much over the summer. So they. Um, so I don't. I don't remember. Okay. So this is the Fish Ohio Recognition Program, and I caught 
a 27.75 channel catfish. I caught a 37 and a half inch flathead. I caught a nine and a quarter inch um, bluegill, and I caught a 24 and a quarter inch freshwater drum. So, and that's what it is. It's the it's the Fish Ohio Award Program. So those four were over what they have the numbers. They have like a list that you can go online and see. So I caught those. I'm really excited about it. Once again, I'm just pumped. I never got the master angler pin before. So it's really cool to be able to get that one. But that was something, um, it was done completely on accident. I was catfishing when I caught the other fish. I wasn't even targeting those fish. So it was kind of neat that that happened this year, fell into my lap the years that I tried, I was never able to do it. So anyways, I'm going to get back here. Um, I'm going to get working on the tackle stuff. I don't know if you can see, I got the, I think you can probably see the light behind me and the jackeries back there and got a bunch of tackle back there and stuff, but I got to get to organizing those boxes. Before I do that though, if you guys want to be catfish tough. So you're going to want to head over to hookanddrag.com and they have t-shirts, all sorts of different colors, come in a bunch of different sizes. They have tank tops, they have long sleeve shirts, some are like regular cotton, some are sweat wicking. They've got hoodies, long sleeves, t-shirts, leggings, shorts, bibs for babies, hats, stickers, you name it, they got it. Hookanddrag.com for your catfish tough clothing. So go ahead, go check out that website. Uh, they, you can get, they got clothes, all sorts of stuff. You, I just showed you guys. Um, my, the information is in my description and you can use my discount code and you get a little bit of a discount, but I'm going to get back here to doing this tackle and we'll be back in a minute. Okay. So I think what I might do is I might set this on a time lapse here, um, and get this stuff put away and then I'll show you, you know, what's going where and what, what we're doing, but I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to record everything and then, um, time lapse it. And then I'm going to show you what we, what we accomplished today. So. We'll be back here.
Okay, so like I said, I got everything in here that I have right now that I want to put in there. Um, I'm going to show you guys what's in the boxes right now, and then I'm going to get everything put back together. But I got as much done as I can today, and I see what I need. Um, I'm making a list, so I know what I have to get, so I'm completely prepared. Um, so I'm going to give you guys a, a little look-see here of what I got going on. All right, so in this one, I've got some of the glow sticks you can never have enough of those these are the beads that i think that somebody was talking about before that you can get at uh walmart in one of my videos so i do i have a couple bags of those in here as well which um you probably actually move those over to the other one but um i got some swivels in here a bunch of different kinds of swivels i've got some sinkers got different kinds what is this oh there's a hook in there that shouldn't be in there this should be in the hook box um i got some more sinkers here i need to get some more of the fours um and probably some more of the twos maybe a couple threes and then i've got matches and i got a tape measure in there um so that's that's this box that's this one that i got done and then over here, I've got, this is my hooks. So these are kale hooks here. And then these are all different kinds of circle hooks that I have in here. And once again, I always keep extra matches in all my boxes in case I need to start a fire. Um, these are treble hooks with a sponge that you can put like in a dip it in uh, blood or, uh, you know, the fake blood or something like that. Um, but yeah, this should actually be not be in here too. So I got this one. That's all the hooks. So the hooks are all ready. Uh, the ones that I put in there are uh, were size eight circle hooks. That's the one I use the most. Now this one has sinker slides, and that's what this is right here. This goes on the line. You hook your sinker onto it, and that way the line can run. So I got those. I'm going to pick up some more. I got quite a few in there. I put some more of the glow sticks in there. These are bumpers for the sinkers. You put that on the line so this doesn't tear up the line where it's tied in a knot. Uh, we got some split shots, some other beads, um, some other hooks in here, some little circle hooks. Another tape measure. I got the bells. Um, I got a rattle that goes on the line. Um, and there's a couple other kale hooks and circle hooks that I threw in here too that I got a kit because I didn't have room to put that in another one. And then what I did was I had an extra box over here. You can see this one. And this is actually going to go in this tackle box. This is the one that uh, Marianne Bindler sent me. I didn't bring in to the house all of the uh bait uh catching tackle so this um that's going to be done another time i'm not doing that today i just want to get this one ready but i did put a bunch of hooks in this box and we're going to get this closed up and put it in here and this one is actually just going to probably stay in the uh back of my truck um so that i have this completely ready to go at all the time. There's some plastics in there. There's some bass hooks. And yeah, so this is what I wanted to do today. Um, you can see I got everything done. I'm going to throw everything back in the bags here and this will be ready. Next, I need to go through. I've got Mrs. Backwoods. I've got Darcy because her favorite color is orange. And then Aiden wanted to use my old soft box so that's aiden so that's what we have going on there um i'm gonna get all this stuff put back in the bag and i got i got some of it done that i need to get done i know what i need to get i'm gonna have a list we're gonna get all that stuff set up the main thing is that i'm really bummed about losing this wish i wouldn't have lost it but i lost it so it was a rapala fillet knife it wasn't cheap I mean, it wasn't real expensive either, but I don't have that anymore. And that just, that really stinks. But I got, I got the majority of the stuff that I need done. It's not going to be too expensive. I need some sinkers. Um, I'm probably going to order some more bells. So I have them. Those aren't overly expensive. And um, 
the fillet knife. So that's really all I need to get going. I got my my scale here. I got to put that in the bag. I got everything else I need. So it's just getting this stuff organized in here. But I, with having this for catch and bait, I have so much extra room um, in my bag now. Because this actually, I'll show you the top of it in here doubles as a cooler. So I can put drinks in there. I can put, um, you know, waters, Diet Cokes, whatever. I can put it in there. Um, and I still have still have enough room. So I'm going to go, I'm going to get this all set back up. Um, thanks for watching. That's all I got for today. Wanted to show you guys slime on remember shirts are for work and we'll see you on the next one. Bye everybody.